Hi, this is JP LaForce from Studio JPEG. In this video, I'm with the Nodal Ninja NN4 panoramic head with the RD16 version 2 rotator in the bottom. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of parallax. So the times where the no parallax point or NPP or sometimes called the nodal point really comes into play is for panoramic photos. And this Nodal Ninja 4 panoramic head is really ideal for that. And I'll do a further video to show how to set it up further and how to take photos with it. And getting rid of the parallax point is very important because it will allow your images to stitch together better and have less errors in them. And basically there's a point called the no parallax point. And I'm going to explain to you what it is and then I'm going to show you how to find the no parallax point on your lens. So first the demonstration, if you close one eye and you put your finger in front of the open eye and you go left and right, you're going to notice that your finger and the background do not move at the same speed. And if you do the same thing, but this time instead of moving your head, you move your eyeball you're going to notice that everything stays synced up together. So the background and your finger move together and that's called the no parallax point. We're lucky that our eyes automatically come calibrated with it. But unfortunately with cameras, it's not the same thing. And I look through the viewfinder here and I make sure that my point is aligned in that direction on it. So that way, that's how I find out where the point is. It's not 100% precise. You do have to do a little bit of testing afterwards, but it's usually very, very close. So once you have found this distance here, you lock it into place. Then you're going to be playing with this distance here. And this one is a little bit trickier and it depends on each lens. If you have, this is a Rokinon 8mm cine lens. It's the HD version or version 2. It has a whole bunch of names, whole bunch of different providers, but it's all the same lens. And basically the point for this lens is roughly around here. And you can basically... Uh, move the camera forwards until this white point here is about next to here. But I'm going to show you a more precise way of doing it. And this way will work with any lens. So I'm going to turn the camera on. I'm going to go in live view mode. Alright, so I focus on the back of the camera and zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing. And basically, I'm going to use the 10 times zoom. <laughs> and I'm going to find a point which, uh, in this case, I'm using a blind. If you have something more solid, uh, that's even better, like a light stain. Or you could even use uh, the casing of the window or anything like that. But basically, you're going to need something vertical. And you're going to see like this here. And I will take a picture. Alright, so the point where we're going to align with is the point here. You see a little triangle of fence. And as I turn the nodal ninja, I'm going to use the arrows here. And you're going to notice that it doesn't take a lot of movement. So as you can see now, the little triangle is not aligned at all with the blinds anymore. So that means that we are either further away or that we are too close, one of the two. In this case, I do know just by memory that I am far too far because I'm at the end. So I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit and I'm gonna bring it. I know for my camera, it's at the eight centimeter mark. 
All right, so as you can see, I moved things around a little bit. And now the triangle is aligned correctly. And I'm going to take a quick picture of this so you can see zoomed in. All right, and now I'm going to turn the camera around. And I move the camera quite a lot. I'm going to zoom in to 10x again and as you can see the triangle of fence did not move very much at all and that's what we're looking for. The more precise that you are in both directions, so in left to right and in front to back, the less parallax that you are going to see. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it very interesting. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the box below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.